hello guys welcome back in today's very video edition here i want to take you guys to a very quick tour on how to install cng in a car now there are a couple of components which you need to identify here and i'm going to be trying to explain them for you one after the other the first one here is the injector this is the injector uh, for four cylinder and uh, it doesn't have a different wire for the ignition coil and most of them are going to come with uh, injector 1, injector 2, injector 3, injector 4 which is injector 1 goes here, injector 2 goes here, injector 3 goes here, injector 4 goes here on the intake manifold and let me go ahead and show you how it is this is it so you're going to use a uh, glue to actually hold it in place right there but this glue which these guys use here is not quite cool I will suggest that a drain, uh, a drilling bit and a tap and die should be used so that there is not going to be any escape of gas, uh, CNG gas outside the engine to avoid any fire outbreak. Now, with that understood, I'm going to go over here. Now, this is the pipe that feeds the gas. It has a LPG uh, meter here, some sort of like a cut off a switch. And this is, it has, all the socket actually do comes with it. When you buy it full, pray, uh, install. So you don't need to cut anything and do anything aside where you're going to be tapping the power from. And here, without being told, this is the filter. And uh, on this other side here, this device, I just lost the name right there. But this device is a device that actually changes, that transposes the liquid gas the liquid gas into gaseous gas before it start coming here to avoid engine flooding and here is what you use how many uh, liters of uh, LPG that is currently inside the car and it's also being routed back to the ECM now we have this guy here this is the pressure controller this pressure controller the wire goes all the way back to the uh, to the CNG tank while the other part of the uh, solar controller which is also being connected in parallel goes to the ECM so that the ECM will know exactly the pressure that is coming there to be able to control how much pressure to allow to go through this place now we have the three more segments which we need to go where does it take power from okay, I forgot to mention that it has actually a power feed which I was talking about uh, another associate here is saying this is actually a cutoff uh, relay that you use to cut off the fuel this is the fuel pump relay however we have two powers going to the ecm of the cng system now we got another ground down there the ground is mounted to the chassis so if you have any further question drop it in the comment section inside the car which will be feeding the ecm sorry which will be feeding your car ignition for switchover but this one goes straight to the ecu so that it can be able to get power now we have a two wire which i suppose is where the switch over happens i'm going to take you guys into the car so you guys can see it and I perforate the wall here so that it can pass through it and meet the other place now within here there's a mirror which they use like 12 uh, 13 bolt to be able to mount it so that here can be able to stay firm now within this uh dispenser we have two more connectors we have two more connectors we have one more connector here and another somewhere here where a small pipe is going in i hope you guys can see it. and so this is routed back on top here we have this other pipe i'm going to explain this pipe where this pipe goes to later now we have the two critical pipes here and these pipes they are made up of brass not copper because that can be able to withstand the pressure and not crack under pressure so you see the t-joint that is here the first one goes here and but first it feeds the tank and the other one comes over here so you need to put another plate here like a 12 to 13 millimeter bolt here and hang where you can be able to get uh, uh, CNG into the system into the tank now that short pipe wiring is what the most of the times it comes flat like this so you don't need to retread or do anything other than just fitting it and making sure that there is no any leak of any sort 
then we have another same pipe about a quarter inch pipe quarter inch pipe for inlet another quarter inch pipe going all the way back so now let's go to the back side let me show you the cng tank now at the back here here is the cng tank and that's the the other wire the other pipe the one quarter pipe is only single one of them and you have the wire which actually supplies uh, the signal to the pressure amount of uh, uh, CNG that's going to be going out of this very tank. Now I want to advise you guys here, do not try to use your, your methane tank to do this. This tank is specially made for this purpose. So it is way thicker, thicker than any other tank, thicker than oxygen tank. So I hope you, you understand. Now these fittings most of the time is gonna come with the entire package when you buy it. Now this is the pressure controller that is coming from the from the tank. Right? I hope you guys can see that. Now we have a shut off control here, which currently right now when you are done, it should be completely on so that the gas can flow while the ECM regulates how much goes in there make some brace where you're gonna mount this so it doesn't shake right because if you shake if you wiggle after a lot of time the there's gonna it's gonna crack it cause a crack on that very pipe that comes from here to feed the tank and uh, that's gonna become a messy situation because there's gonna be a cng leak into this very car make sure you belt this very tank strong enough to avoid moving around to avoid wiggling and you are done on this very part here so the only job that the only thing that is coming here which you need to perforate this very side here and there's going to be a fitting that's supposed to come with the package of the cng kit conversion kit which you need to bolt in here after perforating here so and you also want to make sure that when you're doing the piping don't leave the pipe dangling and if you can see here right now, there is a 12 volt supply coming to this very pressure controller, which is coming from that very pressure controller from inside the engine bay, like I showed you guys. Now I wanna look underneath the car to see how the piping was done. Now it's pretty much hidden, but if you look at it here right now, that's the, that's the quarter inch pipe and that's the wire that's going in there. So they made sure hope you guys can see it they made sure that it's not dangling that's what i told you guys it doesn't dangle and you also want to make it to be a little bit far from the exhaust to avoid any heat up and expansion because the cng is going to expand when it encounters any heat though here that it is right now it's going to be imperative that you find something that you're going to use to to shield it from any obstacle, right? And I'm saying that uh, there is a technology here we need to understand. This is not just a pressure valve. This is a shut off pre uh, solenoid valve. And that shut off solenoid valve is closed by default. It's only going to on when a 12 volt power supply comes to it. If there is no 12 power volt uh, supply, it's gonna shut off and prevent any escape of this very CNG. That is for safety measure to avoid explosion during any some sort of a hazard. So as soon as power is cut off from here, then it will stop supplying. Now let's go inside the car. Now inside the car here, it's gonna be a little bit more tricky. Let's go on underneath the glove compartment. Now you see the two wires, the two wires, Okay, here is the two wires. Here is the two. This is the switch which you can be able to use to press it. That's the switch for the switchover. The ignition system is not really routed into that very CNG conversion kit. What is routed here is a switch which is actually meant to shut off the CNG, CNG controller. And uh, 
there are some questions which I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking. There is a pink wire that is left here. Pink wire with a white tracer. That's something which I need to talk about in some other time. But for now, I'm certain that you have overall overview of how to install a CNG inside a car and each of the parts is explained. Now, if there is anything which you do not understand, like here, most of the sockets are did in such a way that you cannot cross fit it so that it doesn't create any problem. I hope that is clearly understood. CNG kit diagram. Okay, now the last part which I want to explain to you guys, which I said I'm going to explain previously, is this very two pipe here. We have one going in here. I hope you guys can see it. Right. One going in here. We have one going in here which is this guy here. Then we have another coming from here. So where did you connect this one to? This is where you tap from the hot uh, coolant that is being used inside the engine to go here and uh, transpose the liquid CNG into gaseous CNG. Without it coming in there, you're going to be getting a lot of liquid coming back into the engine. I hope you guys understand it. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.